Game Double Tap, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to Shadow the Rogue Part 1, Shipwreck. We are starting off our Rogue. Hope you enjoyed the talent build video and the uh, discussion I had about that. And of course, I hope you enjoyed the character creation video. They're kind of out of order a little bit because the talent conversation was for our Rogue that we did lose when I lost my phone. And then I restarted another Rogue, renamed it the same name, Shadow. And that's when we did the character selection. So to be sure, I use exactly the same talents that I used in our original Rogue. I find those talents to be extremely powerful. So we chose a Halfling and we chose um, Alchemy. And um, I'm very happy, class is Rogue. So if you wanna check out what I think about the talents of the Rogue, and if you want to check out our character creation, please flip back to those previous preambles to this part one. But this is going to be part one. And in every time we stop, the next one will be part two. So they will incrementally increase the part numbers. Um, also, big shout out to my noise. I'll be trying. I'll be briefly changing scenes. So for the most part, I try to anticipate what scenes I'm going to have in the game with you all. And just like a dungeon master, I will just switch the music just a bit. So if you're looking to do some of that with your own content creation, please feel free to swing by my noise, M-Y-N-O-I-S-E. You can find a link in my description and you can pretty much do anything you want with my noise. And they're always coming out with new jams every day, new sound effects, whether you're underwater, you're on the moon, you're in a lava-filled cavern, or you're in a haunted mansion. So yes, you could do just about anything with my noise. They are great folks, fully accessible app to the blind and visually impaired. Please rate them at least five stars in the App Store. Give them your rating and feedback and let them know that you were sent there from Michael Gray from Game and Game Double Tap. They're kind, most definitely kind. Yes. So definitely uh, give them some love. But anyway, welcome back, y'all. Got the rogue starting off here. As you know, you start off with a couple pieces of equipment. You get a basic weapon and a basic piece of armor. You don't get anything else. No neck slot, no chest slot, no waist slot, no pants, no shoes, nothing. Every class starts off, as far as I understand, with just being stuck on the shipwreck. And then you go to this this godforsaken island and you have to deal with all the monsters on it but the beauty is there's a lot of farming you can do you can make your character strong and there's a lot of ways you can customize your character especially with the forge with the forge you can make some pretty powerful things and because we are an alchemist we'll also have a 20 percent chance to make an upgraded item at the forge which is cool i'm also curious to know if we'll be able to make more than one forged item that would be absolutely fantastic because forage items are sick. Anyway, don't know if we're going to get that 20% bonus. Don't know if we're going to get the upgraded item because I really don't know what the upgraded item is. But um, if it gives us any more attributes, that's fantastic. As it is, I feel like what we did with the previous Rogue is when, if we do get to the forge, we're going to select the attribute um, talent point increase which means when we level up, we'll get one extra talent point. I find that to be very effective. Secondly, we're gonna go ahead and take Critical Strike. I found that to be one of the most powerful things to take. So we will take Critical Strike, Critical Strike, and then we'll take an extra talent point. I think that's a good, good build. Let me know what you did in the comments. Please let me know how you played, what class you're playing, let us know what race you're playing and let us know what your build is. And if you want to tell us any other details, that is totally outstanding. We'd appreciate it. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, again, um, uh, of course, I always forget. Let's turn the speaking rate down. And of course, if you like what I do here, don't be shy. Go ahead and like and subscribe. It means the world to me when you guys do that. And of course, you can double tap on all to get all the notifications from YouTube. But let me turn the speaking rate down to 60. Volume, audio ducking, speaking rate, 85, 80, 70, 65%, 60%. Words, characters, vertical navigation. All right, we're all set. Let's go ahead and get out the shipwreck. I know the shipwreck pretty well. We should have no problem wiping out the shipwreck. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, our screaming goat doesn't like the shipwreck, but it's fine. It's a good chance for us to get used to our talents and skills. I don't think there's any monsters, but of course we'll get our shipwreck, uh, our shipwreck rat, which is good. Um, the shipwreck rat has a couple of good skills. It's got plague. Plague makes it hard for the enemy to hit you. It's got infectious bite, infection bite or infectious bite, which adds a nice little DOT, which is damage over time. So a dot. Those are really good for dealing with bosses. Typically, I put the plague on the boss and any of the minions of the boss I put on the infectious bite, which means they're going to be sinking down. Typically, with your ship rat, you're going to want to hit everyone with infectious bite, and only the most dangerous melee unit you're going to want to hit it with plague. Again, you're going to run out of energy before you do everything, so don't worry about it. And as always, your pet, I do not believe, can be harmed in this version of Futurina. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. And the game is Future Adventure to Fate. Uh, Lost Island. The developer's name is Touchment. So if you're looking to find the game, it's in my description. My descriptions are getting pretty sweet. So don't worry. I've got my descriptions cleaned up quite a bit ever since I lost my phone. So we're, we're, we're doing good. Our, 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 um, our descriptions are getting back to the cool way they were before. <clears throat> Action log. Heading. Let's go ahead and move. South button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the south and is unexplored. We can go south. East. Action slash sir. West. But north. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the north and is unexplored. Let's go there. North. You move north to lower deck. Holding cell room six. It was unexplored. You brace yourself on the ward. Wooden floorboards of the sinking ship. You are on floor one in room six. Okay, I think there's West. Button. North. Button. A wall is to the north and you cannot go that way. Can go that way. West. Button. A wall is to the west and you cannot go that way. Action slash east. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the east and is unexplored. Let's go east. East. Just want to meet it, talk to deck. everybody Holding first. Holding cell room seven, it was unexplored. And then you brace yourself on the wall. we will Wooden get all the little the treasures. Ship. You are on floor one in room seven. Action slash east. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the east. An object or NPC is here and is unexplored. Okay. Action slash search button. Did but we action get that? Slash search. You search and find nothing. Okay. East. Button. Let's go east one more. E. NPC slash object on this square. Age drifter. Age drifter says there is no escape. Done. Button. Action slash search button. Button. West. Button. Let's go west. West. You moved west to lower deck. Holding cell room seven. It was on X. Action slash search. West. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the west. Action. West. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the west. I think we've been there. Action slash east. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the east. South. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the south. An object or NPC is here and is unexplored. Let's go south. south. I think there's another NPC slash object on this square. Captive person feet. here that captive is captive. Says, the ship is sinking and there is no way out. Okay. Done. We button. got that done. Now we're going to go slash search button. Button. find a barrow and Current sneak through the barrel. Seven. East. Button. Action slash search button. Button. East. South. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the south and is unexplored. Go south. South. You moved south to lower deck. Holding cell room 17. It was unexplored and is searchable. You brace okay. yourself on the ward. East. Action slash search button. You searched and found something. You found the following. Okay, we got our junk. Mystic Ord, one. We got a little bit of stuff. Crafting materials. We are an alchemist. EXP, one. Gold, three. Mild restoring tonic, button. Got some, ooh, got some freebie potions. Of course, when we get a belt, we'll be able to equip a third potion. And because we're an alchemist, drinking potions doesn't cost us an action, which is nice. Yep. Pick up items, button, heading. Refra sinking ship heading menu but sinking ship heading menu menu but sinking ship he action log heading south button a wall is to the south and you cannot go the east button lower deck holding cell is to the east and is unexplored action west button lower deck holding cell is to the west and is unexplored check west west you moved west to lower deck holding cell room 16 it was unexplored you brace yourself on the ward wooden floorboards of the sinking ship you are on floor action west button a wall is to the west and you cannot go that way. Okay. North. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the north. We've been there. West. Action slash search button. East. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the east. East. You moved east to lower deck. Holding cell room 17. You brace yourself on the ward. South. East. Button. Lower deck. Holding cell is to the east and is unexplored. E. NPC slash object on this square. Drainage grate. 
Drainage okay, grid set. Now we gotta the open this. To be in a Great. Hole. Done. Button. Action slash search button. Button. West. Action slash search button. East. But action slash search. Action slash search button. Object in this room. Drainage grate. You match done. Button. Object in this room. Drainage grate. You manage to move the barrel and a passage just large enough to squeeze through is revealed. Tap done. Button. Now, because I'm recording, you won't hear those cute little sounds like did it in it like that. Um, unfortunately, when I'm recording, it nullifies these sound effects for some reason. Done. Button. Action slash search button. All right, button. now let's button. jump in this hole. Ease. Action slash search button. Button. Action slash. You moved to an unexplored different floor two to flooded hull room 17. It was unexplored. All right. You wade through the salty, waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. Now you we just need to explore this floor real quick. Uh, it's really simple. You just explore every floor, get as much as you want, and get make sure you get your pet. And then you're going to just jump through another barrel and that'll get you off the ship. And then you'll be on the um, shore. You'll be on, you'll, you'll be on the beach. Coral Beach, whatever. East button. Flooded hull is to the east and is unexplored. <clears throat> east. You moved east to flooded hull room eighteen. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty waste. Action slap. East button. A wall is to the east and you cannot go that south. Button. A wall is to the south and you cannot go that way. East. Action slash search west. Bu north button. Flooded hull is to the north and is unexplored. North. You moved north to flooded hull room thirteen. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty waste. High water in the lower hull of the ship. You are on floor two in room thirteen. <clears throat> West, north, button. Flooded hull is to the north and is unexplored. North, you moved north to flooded hull room eight. It was unexplored and is searchable. You wade through the salty. West, action slash search button, button. You searched and found something. You found the following. Mystic ore, one. EXP, one. Gold, four. Mild healing tonic, button. Pick up items, button. Ref sinking ship, heading. Action log, heading. South, east, action slash, west. North. Button. Flooded hull is to the north leading to floor three and is unexplored. Then go there. West. Button. Flooded hull is to the west and is unexplored. West. You moved west to flooded hull room seven. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty. Action slash search button. West. North. Movement. Heading. EXP. Two slash ten. Movement. Heading. <coughs> north. West. Action slash. East. But. South. Button. Flooded hull is to the south and is unexplored. South. You moved south to flooded hull room twelve. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty. Action lock. South. Button. Flooded hull is to the south. Action log. South. East. Action slash. West. Button. Flooded hull is to the west and is unexplored. West. You moved west to flooded hull room 11. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty. Wait. Action. West. Button. A wall is to the west and you cannot go. Action. East. South. Button. Flooded hull is to the south and is unexplored. South. You moved south to flooded hull room 16. It was unexplored. You wade through the salt. Action log. Heading. South. East. Action slash search. But. West. Action. East. Button. Flooded hull is to the east. Actions, west, north, button. Flooded hull is to the north. West, action slash search, east, button. Flooded hull is to the east. East, you moved east to flooded, actions, west, north, button. Flooded hull is to the north. North, you moved north to flooded hull room 12. You wade through the salty, west, north, button. Flooded hull is to the north. West, action slash, west, button. Flooded hull is to the west. West. You moved west to flooded hull room. Actions. East. Button. Action. West. North. Button. Flooded hull is to the north and is unexplored. North. You moved north to flooded hull room 6. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty. Waste. West. North. Button. Flooded hull is to the north leading to floor 3 and is unexplored. West. Action slash search button. Bu east. Button. Flooded hull is to the east. Actions. West. But. North. Button. Flooded hull is to the north leading to floor 3 and is north. You move to an unexplored different floor 3 to flooded hull room 21. You wade through the salty, waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. You are on floor 3 in room 21. Action log. Heading. South. Button. Movement south is inaccessible. East. Button. Flooded hull is to the east leading to floor 2 and is unexplored. South. Action. Action. South. East. Action slash. West. Button. A wall is to the west and you cannot go. North. Button. Flooded hull is to the north and is unexplored. North. You moved north to flooded hull room 16. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty, waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. You are on west, north, button. A wall is to the north and you cannot go west, button. A wall is to the west and you cannot go that way. Action, east, button. Flooded hull is to the east and is unexplored. East. You moved east to flooded hull room 17. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty, waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. You are on floor 3 in room 17. South, button. Flooded hull is to the south leading to floor 2 and is unexplored. 
North, West, Button. Action slash sir, West, but North, Button. West, Action slash East, Button. Flooded Hall is to the East and is unexplored. South, East, Button, East. You moved East to Flooded Hall Room 18, it was unexplored. You wade through the salty, waste, South, East, Button. A wall is to the east and you cannot go that action wet north button. A wall is to the north and you cannot go that west action slash search east south button. Flooded hall is to the south leading to floor two and is unexplored. South. You move to an unexplored different floor two to flooded hall room three. You wade through the salty waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. You are on floor two in room three. Action log heading south east button. A wall is to the east and you cannot go that way south button. Flooded hall is to the south east action slash search but west button. Flooded hull is to the west leading to floor 3 and is unexplored. North, movement, north, button. Movement north is inaccessible. West, button. Flooded hull is to the west leading to floor 3 and is west. You move to an unexplored different floor 3 to flooded hull room 22. You wade through the salty, waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. You are on floor 3 in room 22. Action slash search button, east, action, west, button. Flooded hull is to the west leading to floor 2. Action slash search, east, button. Flooded hull is to the east leading to floor 2. South, button. Movement south is inaccessible. East, action, west, button, north, button. Flooded hull is to the north. North. You move north to flooded hull room 17. You wade through the salty, waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. Movement, north, button. Flooded hull is to the north and is unexplored. North. You move north to flooded hull room 12. It was unexplored and is searchable. You wade through, west, button. Action slash search button. You searched and found something. You found a pet. Tap image button to pick up. All right, we got a pet. Yeah. Um, ship rat button. Yeah. Ship rat button. Oh, we'll take our ship rat. Ship rat. A large rodent often found on ships with skills. Infecting by attacks one. Enter to get pet button. Let's go ahead and get that. Refra sinking ship heading. So now we this have our ship rat. Floor. That's really all we really have to get. I would highly suggest you get your ship rat. It's just more DPS. Flooded hull. This is your current room. Action log heading. Action log, south, button. Flooded hull is to the south. East, button. A wall is to the east and you cannot, action slash search button. North, button. West, button. A wall is to the west and you cannot go that, north, button. Flooded hull is to the north and is unexplored. North, you moved north to flooded hull room 7, it was unexplored. You wade through the salty, waste high water in the lower hull of the ship. You, west, action slash search button, east, button. Flooded hull is to the east and is unexplored. East. You moved east to flooded hull room 8, it was unexplored and is searchable. You wait, action slash search button, button. You searched and found something. You found the following. Sapphire dust, 1. EXP, 1. Gold, 4. Mild restoring tonic, button. Pick up items, button. Ref sinking ship, heading. Flooded hull. This is your... Action log, heading. Action, south, button. A wall is to the south and you cannot go that way, east, button. A wall is to the east and you can action wet north button. Flooded hull is to the north and is unexplored. North. You moved north to flooded hull room three. It was unexplored. You wade through the salty west north button. Movement north is inaccessible. West button. Flooded hull is to the west and is unexplored. Action east button. A wall is to the east and you cannot go that way. Action west button. Wet. NPC slash object on this square. Drainage grate. Drainage grate says the drainage grate is stuck. All right. So we just have to open up this drainage grate. And then we can escape, but there is one more little small treasure uh, thing around here, so we're gonna get that first. Done. Button. Action slash search button. East. Action slash search button. Button. West. Button. Flooded hull is to the west and is unexplored. West. You moved west to flooded hull room one, it was unexplored. You wade through the salty. Wait. Actions. West. Button. A wall is to the west and you cannot go that. Action. East. South. Button. Flooded hull is to the south and is unexplored. South. You moved south to flooded hull room 6, it was unexplored and is searchable. You wade through action log. South, button. East, but action slash search button. You searched and found something. You found the following. Water essence, 1. EXP, 1. Gold, 4. Sea moss, button. Pick up items, button, heading. Ref sinking ship, heading. This flooded hull. Sinking ship, head. Action log, heading. South, button. A wall is to action south button. A wall is to the south and you cannot go that way east button. Flooded hull is to the east. Action slash west button. A wall is to the west and you can north button. Flooded hull is to the north north. You move north to flooded hull room one west north button. You can't go that way. You are all west button. 
A wall is to the west and you cannot go that way. Action. East. Button. Flooded hull is to the east. East. You moved east to flooded hull room 2. It is searchable. Object. Drainage grate. Details. All right. We the got everything. You are on floor three Let's and go ahead two. and jump out. Action slash search button. Button. Action slash search button. Object in this room. Drainage grate. You manage to pry open the drainage grate revealing the churning waters below. You hold your breath as you get ready to plunge into the darkness. Tap room again to use. Done. But object in done. Button. East. Button. Action slash search button. Action slash search button. You are alive? You must have survived the shipwreck. But you don't remember much after that. You open your eyes to see crystal clear waves rolling over a beautiful black sand beach. Next. Button. It seems as though you have washed ashore on the lost island. It is not marked on any map. And even in death, your soul will be lost and bound to the island forever. All right. Next. Button. Long ago, three gems erupted from the volcano at the core of the island. These gems gave great powers to the island and its inhabitants. Next. Button. All was well, until the sacred gems were stolen and the island was cursed. In order to leave the island, you must retrieve all three gems and place them back in their rightful place. Only then will you have a chance to escape. Next. Button. The gems have since traded many hands and are now said to be spread out in different locations across the island. If you are serious about retrieving these gems, I need you to prove it by collecting the first one from this very cove. Next. Button. Beware, the cove is full of magical creatures as well as generations of the nastiest pirates ever to sail the seas. Some have been here for hundreds of years and believe the gems give them great powers, so they won't give up their treasure easily. You may want to visit the shopkeeper to the east before your adventure. Next, button. Gather the first sacred gem, the water gem, from the pirates. Then, travel to the sacred gem room to the north and place it in one of the three idols. Done, button. Done, alert, voice over help, done, done, button. Menu button. Heading. All right, we made it. Let's switch our music. We get into our uh, pleasant uh, drifting uh, waves, like our breakers and our sand and our bird sounds. So let me switch to sound. App switcher. Lost island. My noise. Active. My noise. Escape pirate ship priestess scene one. Lost island character creation sounds. Rogue first scene. Old mansion. Rain. Rogue shadow shipwreck escape scene one. Iron. Starting zone. Ocean and birds. Priest. Tab bar. My noises. Tab. Let's one o'clock. Doncaster first section. Escape pirate ship priestess. Lost island character creation sound state. Rogue first scene. Old mansion. Rain. Rogue shadow shipwreck escape scene. Starting zone. Ocean and tab bar. My noises. Tab. Rogue. Rogue. Is Don Multigens. Heading. Doncaster first section. Japanese guard. Escape pirate ship priestess scene one. Com office. Dark sea. Lost island character creation sound state. Rogue first scene. Where Old mansion. Rain noise. Spring walk. Rogue Shadow Shipwreck Escape Scene 1, Irish Coast, Old Man, Starting Zone, Ocean and Birds, Priestess, Scene 2, hmm, Spring Walk, Unreal let's Ocean. go here, this must be it. 20%, Adjustable. Footsteps, swipe up there or down with go. one finger to adjust the value. There we go. This is our beautiful sound. We are walking around, you hear us walking around? That's us walking around in the grass and on the sand. It's very pretty. App Switcher, My Noise, App, Lost Island, Active. Lost Island, menu, button, And we'll heading. go ahead and let you hear some of the music. Menu, button, he me And we'll also check out Advanced our starting stats, gear. Heading. Leaderboard, button, help scroll, button. Sacred gems found, quick game, button, quick game. Sa shadow, re water resist zero, fire resist zero, earth resist two, shadow damage two, menu, pets, but inventory, crafts, but skill book, but exit menu, advanced stats, leaderboard, but help scroll, but music is off, tap to turn on, music is on, tap to turn off, heading. This is our little, quick little intermission. While I take a quick drink of coffee. Let me take a quick little break. You guys enjoy the music and our combination with my noise. And I'm gonna reheat up my coffee.
about. Just got the coffee heating up. We're going to go over the character real quick. Almost back. Sacred gems found. Dim. Button. Sacred quick game. Button. Sacred water resist zero. Fire resist. Earth resist. Shadow. What? Earth. Help. Dip. Pet kill total. Kill total zero. Pre regain SP rate. Regain it. Vamp SP. Vamp eight. Confused chance zero. Menu. Pets. Inventory. Button. Crafts. Skill book. Exit menu. Button. Advanced stats. Leaderboard. Help scroll. But music is on. Tap to turn on. Music is off. All Tap right. To turn on. We are back. Ready. Coffee's been heated up a little bit. We have completed our first scene. We've managed to get a couple of items. Um, I do not believe you get any craftable potions until level two. So we need to level. So we're going to work on that real quick. And um, after that, we get a little into the water shrine. We will probably take a break there and then come back and try to complete the Water Shrine. I don't think the, the Rogue has really no problem with any of the monsters in the Water Shrine. They're very easy for um, as hard hitting as we are. But again, let's go over what we have and then let's go ahead and take a look at the shop. There isn't really a lot there for us, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. Menu, button. All right, now Advanced let's check stats. out the Rogue. Heading. Sacred quick game button quick game button menu bu pets bu inventory button inventory. All right, Equipment. here we go. Equip button unequip button destroy button heading on it my zero button zero zero but zero but zero but zero, but zero but tattered cloak button zero, zero, exit menu but equipment rusty dagger. Button. So we start Weapon off slot. with the rusty dagger. I'm going to double tap on that. Rusty dagger cost 20 type weapon damage one four. Not very much damage, but it gets the job done. LVL rack, one. Requires level one. Type rack, medium. Medium is the armor, is the weapon level we can use. Done, button, done, button. And we'll get a soggy dagger. It will be much better than this. If you are a weaponsmith, you can make a much better weapon, so don't be shy. And if you're an armor smith, we'll talk about some of the armor choices that you can choose. But if you're an alchemist, you're just gonna have to find what you can find inside of the dungeon. Done. Button. Equipment. Heading. Rusty dagger. But zero. Button. Shield slot. Uh, we'll get a shield eventually. Something does drop. Uh, we can use a medium level shield or a light level shield. Zero. Button. Helmet slot. I haven't found any really good leather helmets, but sailors drop caps and there is... Well, actually, that's not true. There is a leather cap that does drop a little later, and the shop does have a couple of choices for leather equipment. Tattered cloak. Button. Chest we, armor slot. We have a tattered cloak, which is really inexpensive. It's not very good, but again, it gets the job done. Tattered cloak. Cost. 25 type. Chest armor count. Two. It's going to give us... The tattered cloak is going to give us two armor. LVL rack. One. It's gonna re it requires level one. Tight rack, light. And it's a lightweight item. Of course, we can wear medium. Done, button. We're gonna be done on that. And that's the, it Heading. for your equipment. Just a regular rusty dagger and a tattered cloak, which makes a lot of sense. If you're gonna escape a shipwreck, you could probably find a few knives stuck into like um, parts of the ship and stuff sailors use for cutting ropes and stuff. So everything is so logical, which I really like about this game. It makes sense. That we come to this island with just barely the clothes in our back, you know. So, so that's really what I really like about this game. It just the developers done a really good job of immersing us into the role of the character that we're playing. So, um, thank goodness we don't have zero weapons. So we at least come into the game with at least a weapon and a little bit of armor. 
Um, the rogues don't have especially a lot of armor. I talk about all that a lot in the talent build. You don't really need it because you're really hard to hit. And if you take a halfling, you've got some built-in agility. And if you take the correct um, build, you should be able to get in there and never get hit. Well, not never, but you shouldn't get hit very often. All right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of the potions in our bag. Zero button. Zero button. Zero, but zero, 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 but just inventory, mild healing tonic. We got a bunch of mild healing tonics. Those are the lowest of the low potions, and we are an alchemist, so we won't, we'll just be using these as disposables. Mild restoring tonic, mild restoring tonic. So mild healing is for healing, mild restorative is for replacing your SP loss. CMOS, button. CMOS is a buffing potion. Don't be shy about using those. Just use them. Zero button. Okay, and that's it. Inventory so we, slot. we found three potions. I think there was maybe one more stash of loot that was around. So that's fine. The difference is you can farm as much stuff as you want. So that's really good. So we're pretty much good. Uh, our rat, I've already talked, showed you the rat before. It really just has two main abilities that are noteworthy. It has Plague, which makes it hard for the enemy to hit you. And you have Infectious Bite, which is basically poison. So the Ship Rat is great. I don't know if it evolves. I'm sure it does. I think it turns into something cool, probably a Plague Rat or something. But yeah, the Ship Rat is a great little companion, gives you a little extra DPS. So that's it for here. Um, we can quickly check out the shop. I don't think there's anything we're going to buy. Menu, button, hats, bu invent, crafts, skill book, button, crafts. Let's check button. out our crafts. I think we have nothing Empty yet. List. Yeah, we have nothing right now. Inventory, heading, shop or menu, button, he shop or craft view. Shop or craft view, menu, button, hats, inventory, crafts, but skill book, bu exit menu, button. Let's exit exit that. Mystic code. Let's heading. go ahead and head over this to the, the NPCs are here on the main beach. So there's a place to heal. It will cost you money. So don't waste your time. If it just heal your HP up and your SP up on your own with cheapy potions. If you run out of potions, go ahead and farm the first couple of floors. You can get a lot of crab crab blood and that heals both sp and hp it's really easy to come by you can farm several dozen bottles of that stuff so don't waste your money on um paying for the little shrine there to kind of raise your like doncaster has the same thing but it's more desperate and doncaster you need the campsites bad but in this game it's pretty easy to come by healing and stuff so so for the most part, let's just make sure we've cleared all the unexplored parts of the beach. Then we'll visit the shop. Then we'll go ahead and get into the water shrine. Action log. Heading. South. Button. The ocean is to the south and you cannot go that way. East. Button. Black Sand Beach is to the east and is unexplored. East. You moved east to Black Sand Beach. South. East. Button. Black Sand Beach is to the east and is unexplored. East. You moved east to Black Sand Beach. South. East. Button. A wall is to the east and you cannot go that way. Action slash search button. Bu east. South. Button. The ocean is to the south and you. East. Action slash search button. Button. West. Button. Bl north. Button. Black Sand Beach is to the north. An object or NPC is here and is unexplored. Let's go up there. North. NPC slash object on this square. Gem Guardian. Gem Guardian says, Welcome to the cove. I may have some equipment that will help you on your quest to retrieve the water gem. So the guardians are basically the ones who you do the healing, they give you the quests. And the directions to go and they also are the sharp shop keepers so uh obviously they're immortal they're ghosts something like that so uh, don't worry they'll be here whenever you need them all right so um we're going to check out the shop real quick done button and action slash search button button action slash you item shop button heading Let's just check out what items we're probably going to have our ears out for. Gold, 115. Weapons, button. We got 115 gold, which is nice. Armors, button. Let's weapons, check out the button. weapons. Weapons. Armors, button. Potions, button. And we will turn on our compare feature. You only have to double tap on it once, and once it's on, it stays on. Oak Staff 30, LVL Rack, 1. Rusty Dagger 20, LVL Rack, 1. Rusty Blade 40, LVL Rack, 1. Tide Rack, think Heavy. This is for heavy folks. Oh, 30. LVL rack. One. Tight rack. Range. 
Copper Staff 100, LVL Rack, 2, Type Rack, Light, Enchanted Wand 150, LVL, Soggy Sword 150, LVL Rack, 4, Type, Bandit's Bow 200, LVL Rack, 6, Type Rack, Range, Tainted Copper Dagger 225, LVL Rack, 6, Type Rack, Medium. So this is going to be our first upgrade, Tainted. I think it has a little bit of poison. Let's check it out. Bandit's Tainted Copper Dagger 200. Tainted Copper Dagger. Cost, 225 type. Weapon damage, 27. HP bonus, 4 SP bonus, 4 critical chance bonus, 2 reflect DMG bonus, 3. Shadow damage, 2 shadow resist, minus 1. This is really nice. So this is an all around really great improvement. So if you don't find any good daggers, you can pick this one up. It's really pretty excellent. I don't think we're gonna need to buy this one, but we are not a weaponsmith. So if we don't find anything good in the dungeon, we'll come back and purchase this. LVL rack, six. Type rack, medium. Of course, we won't get just to level six, so that'll be quite some time. Buy, button, cancel, button. Tainted copper dagger 225, LVL rack, six. Type rack, medium. That's good enough for weapons. Shop or craft view, exit shop, but item shop, exit shop, item shop, gold, 100, item shop, exit shop, shop or craft view, shop or craft view, shop or craft view, exit shop, button, item shop, button, soggy sword 150, LV, zero, button, zero, button, copper staff 100, L, weapons, button, armors, button. Let's check out weapons. Armors. Excuse me, let's check out armors. Armors are pretty good. We're definitely gonna probably need at least one or two items in the weapon category because we're not a leather worker. So that's one of the disadvantages of being an alchemist. You just can't have multiple professions. So yeah, we're gonna suffer a little bit because we can't really make our own armor. Leather vest 50, LVL, tattered cloak 25, Sam, linen belt 30, sailor's belt 75, potions, button. Okay, let's check out sailor's the belt 75, uh, LVL rack, one, type rack, light. You can find a sailor's belt in the dungeon, the water shrine dungeon. Linen belt 30, LVL rack, one, type rack, light. You can also find that in the dungeon. Sandals 20, LVL rack, one, type rack, light. Uh, well, my, these are also really easy to come by, so don't buy any of this stuff. You can find it in the dungeon. Tattered cloak 25, LVL rack, one, type rack, light. We're wearing that. Linen robe 15, LVL rack, one, type rack, light. That's in the dungeon, and if you're a tailor, you can make that. Leather vest 50, LVL rack, one, type rack, medium. Now this is a good little item. If you're a leather worker, you can make it, but there's pretty comparable items that drop in the first dungeon. Moldy gloves 12, LVL rack, one, type rack, light. That's an easy to come by random drop. Linen gloves 15, LVL rack, one, type rack, light. Uh, that's another easy to come by drop, plus it's craftable by tailors. Small oak shield 50, LVL rack, one, type rack, heavy. And this is only for those who are uh, warriors, etc. like that. This is a nice little shieldy for you. Enchanted linen belt 125, LVL rack, two, type rack, light. Now belts are great because it means you can carry one more potion. Ideal for alchemists. Now in the old game, alchemists could buy, get this special belt that allowed them to pretty much carry like two or three extra potions. Also, I want to throw out a kind of a secret little bit of information I discovered when listening, when I was redoing my descriptions, I heard there may be a vault. Now, I don't know when you can get the vault, but if you can get the vault, you might want to save really good equipment to share between your characters. Because um, in the old game, the vault was the way to help build up your secondary characters, your alts, because you could trade items between characters and it could be quite fun to be swapping items back and forth. So yeah, if you uh, if you do have the vault accessible to you, you can let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate hearing from you. But yeah, if there is a vault, I'm going to start being a little bit more careful. Of course, I'm sure the vault won't open up until you replace all the gems. Linen boots 40, LVL rack, 2, tight rack, light. Uh, linen boots, again, that's for basically casters. Um, you can wear leather, so but if you're really desperate, you could do this. But you can craft this if you were a tailor. Leather cap 50, LVL rack, 2, tight rack, medium. And then leather cap is a uncommon drop in the dungeon. Coral ring 85, LVL rack, 2, tight rack, light. A uh, little overpriced ring. You can find better or make better. And you also get a pirate's ring as a reward for killing, I think, a mini boss. Leather boot 70, LVL rack, 3, tight rack, medium. Pretty decent uh, boots here. If you get desperate, you could buy it. Sailor's boots 100, LVL rack, 3, tight rack, light. 
And this is an easy drop to find. Leather bracelet 100, LVL rec, 3, type rec, light. Now bracelets don't drop that often, so you might wind up coming back here. The leather bra bracelets are pretty good. You might wind up having to come back and buy it and buying it and putting it on so if you especially if you're having trouble with certain bosses male gloves 150 lvl rack three linen pants 30 lvl rack three tight rack light uh, i don't need those again that's for light uh armor wearers rusty bracelet 200 lvl rack four tight rack light sailor's vest 150 lvl rack four tight rack medium elven robes sailor's vest 150 sailor's LVL vest rack, is a four, leather item rack, i medium. guess uh, that's a little stronger item. Definitely, if you don't get anything good, you can come back here and pick that up. Elven Robes 175, Leather Glove 75, LVL Rack 4, Tight Rack, Medium. So these, again, are when you get to level 4, level, basically level 2, level 4, level 6. So uh, most, everything here is just perfectly itemized for your trip up the level ladder. So uh, again, when you first start off your level 1, you don't need any of the stuff. You can't wear it anyway. Save your money. Just purchase what you don't get from drops. And, and that's really basically the key. So that's gonna be it for that so far. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little pause right here because I think we're fine. I don't wanna make the episodes too long. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the step-by-step -step process of playing the rogue. So we're done with the shipwreck. We're gonna come back part two and we'll go ahead and start off the water shrine. And then we'll see how, I think we can get through. It usually takes me about two episodes to get through the water shrine and then it takes me one whole episode to get through the pirate treasure sands and putting the gem back so relatively maybe three parts to get the whole water shrine done it's more bite size easy for you all to watch it through and later this week we'll come back and play angel and she's gonna be i think angel is on the water shrine herself so but uh thank you very much folks for coming uh to Adventure to Fate, Lost Island. Shadow is the name of our rogue. It is a halfling. It is really cool. And I appreciate all of your likes and your subscriptions. And definitely for uh, turning your notification and ringing the bell. I really appreciate that. Double tapping. You know what I'm saying? Because this channel is all about the blind and visually impaired. And everyone else who is visually diverse in our world and universe. All disabilities welcome. All pronouns welcome. Every single person under the sun, every definition, every identification, always welcome here in this channel. You are welcome here. You are loved here and accepted here. So thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you. This is Game Double Tap, the channel that describes absolutely everything. My name is Michael Gray. The game is Adventure to Fate, Lost Island. The developer's name is Touchment. And you can find everything you need in my description below. But until next time... We shall be exploring the beautiful sands of Lost Island. And I will definitely miss you. Can't wait to hear you all again. I'll get out another episode of The Rogue in the next couple of days. And Angel is coming. And we haven't forgot about... Uh, gore! Still forget Gore! Yeah, Gore will be biting off heads soon. Uh, don't worry, Gore is coming back. <laughs> um, gore is on my iPad. So don't worry, I will... I will find a way to get gore over to the iphone <laughs> so don't think gore is gone and we've got lots of cool stuff ahead the elementalist isn't gone too we will bring the elementalist got lost when i lost my phone but we will bring back the elementalist as well all right folks take care and i'll hear you next time Oh, also a big shout out to my noise. And I am aware that the um, voiceover is ahead of me or behind me when I speak. So I am fully announcing everything I'm doing. Just ignore the voiceover. If it seems to be out of sync, there's nothing I can do about that. That just seems to be a bug that iOS has with voiceover. Again, uh, that is a persistent little issue going on. So I am just going to tell you what I'm doing. If I'm not doing anything important, I just won't be saying very much. Okay, folks? All right, that was it. That was the last announcement I wanted to mention. Everyone take care and have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday.